Somebody asked about opcode caching earlier. So opcode caches are things you install on the web server that tells, lets the web server compile all of that instructions that were written and remember it so it doesn't have to keep recompiling the PHP file. So it stores it as native machine code and then it can execute those instructions way faster. This is from, uh, this is a, a test that uh, Dries ran. And uh, what he found, these dark blue lines are the number of biz requests per second that a server was able to handle with APC installed for anonymous visitors. The little red line is those same anonymous visitors without APC installed. So 20 per second or almost 80 per second. Four times as much traffic can go through there. And, and it's free. It, there, there's opcode, the APC, uh, there's a variety of e-accelerators, some other ones. We've run into some bugs with e-accelerator and Drupal. We found uh, it seg faults Apache. Apache just like freaks out and shuts down. So that's not good. Uh, APC works wonderfully. Free, easy to install if you own your server. Easy for your host to install if you don't own your server. And it's in their best interest to do it because it saves them money, it saves them compute power and processing time. Any question over here? Any day with feeling about Zen that will do where you can About, I'm sorry? Zen. About Zen? Zen? Um, no, I don't. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones. They all have their, their, Zen's a little faster, but it's not nearly as compatible. One of the great things about APC is it's, I, I've never seen an instance where it wasn't compatible with something. One thing people should know is that the accelerator is dependent on the version of the Apache service running. So if you have a managed CPS, you let someone else do it, and they don't know. They'll break your site. They, they, will, they will break your site. Yeah, so just make sure, hey, I'm running Apache 2 and I need this, and here's the exact, here is the file I'd like you to download and install, please. Go research it and find out which one it is. Or make sure that they're aware, hey, it's version specific. More RAM. A server can never have enough RAM. If you have more space for RAM in your server, add it. Like now, your server, your site will perform so much better. It is impossible to have enough RAM in a server. Apache processes. So, in Apache's config file, it spins up and it says, here's how many things, how many processes I'm going to sit out there and wait for requests to come in. If you use too many, if I say I have 1,000 and I get four visitors a day, I have 996 processes sitting out there eating memory, doing nothing. Letting, making sure that nothing else can use that memory. That sucks. So you tune that down. Come up with something fairly appropriate. Look at your load. Look at how many concurrent users. Look at your Apache processes. Max children is the flag in Apache that you want to, uh, to adjust there. Most servers are set around 200. That's probably good. But if you're hitting a point where you're needing to think about this stuff, that's a good optimization. Replace Apache entirely with Nginx and fast CGI. You can run PHP as a CGI app running on fast CGI. Spins up eight, CGI, eight Apache processes. 1,000 Apache processes, however, uh, PHP processes, however many, sits there and, and serves out requests very, 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 very fast. Compatibility-wise, you want to do some testing, you can run into some issues. Some things don't run real well as CGI under PHP. But it, if you can run it, it's very, very fast. Replace PHP entirely with resin. Resin is a Java app server that has completely re-implemented PHP. Every single command, every function in PHP re-implemented in Java. So your PHP app will run on Java without having any idea that it's doing so. It is fast. It is this fast. <laughs> These old lines are resin on Drupal running on resin. And it's, it's just brilliant. The yellow is Apache and PHP 5. We're talking orders of magnitude difference in performance. We're also talking a lot of complexity, compatibility problems, potential crashing. It's beta, it's very, very young. It's, it's 
ridiculously fast, though. Did you say that was with uh, APC? That's with resin. Right, right, but you're comparing PHP. No, this this is with no. So resin also has some opcode caches built in, and this is without resin's opcode caches installed and without any ca okay. opcode caching on PHP. This is a base install of both resin and PHP. Is that like running through the stack in the server or something like that? Yep. And it stores it in the memory? Yep. Okay. And, and there's a lot of complexity there. How do you deal with static variables? How do you deal with global variables if this is now persistent? And it solved most of those. And the most is one of the reasons why it's not entirely stable yet. But boy, is it fast. Is Resin a web server? Resin is a app for a Java app server. So you run it inside of your web server with a Java app server running on top of it. The one and only place I've actually seen this talk about is on your website. And everyone is talking and linking to your website. But I don't remember how long ago it was. You said this was a uh, year ago, testing. maybe? Last summer that we were doing, yeah, doing this? So. And we, we regularly doing, run testing on it. Are you doing this in production? No. Do you know anyone who is? No. What does it cost? What does resin cost? It's free. It's an open source project. Oh, really? They, yep. they used to cost money, didn't it? I don't no? think so. OK. This is interpretive Java. It's not JFK or anything like this. Yeah, it's, 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 a Java, it's a Java servlet that has re-implemented all of PHP. The, the types of places that it really starts to break is Lots of different goofy PHP extensions, like you know, if you're running, you know, GD, it's implemented a lot of those. But there's so many extensions for PHP that couldn't implement all of them, so you can break that way. There was a question back there. How is this, or is this related to Solar? Uh, it's not. Okay. I, I just heard someone think about Solar. Um, and and, and, and Drupal uh, Solar is a search uh, system, and there's an effort going on underway. Uh, eight different developers, one of them is ours, uh, working on replacing Drupal search with Solar. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was curious because the other ones say that they're running on Apache, but since these are speed graphs, what, you know, what's Resin running on? Uh, it's running Tomcat, with, through Apache Tomcat. Oh, okay. I think that's what we were running Resin under. And then one more question over here, and then we'll break so we don't run out of tape. Uh, it just seems to me, is that uh, Apache Foundation uh, application? Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, I, they may have taken it over recently. It's uh, Quercus is the uh, name of the, the company, I believe. 